What's up guys, today we're going to be fabricating an intake for my R32. I already started a little bit off camera. Right now I'm just trying to get all the pie cuts cut because it takes forever to do that. If you don't know what a pie cut is, it's that. They look pretty cool when they're all welded together. I'll get into that in a second. First I want to show you guys the math adapter I'm making because I didn't buy one. I figured it's probably not that hard to make so I got some 3 inch stainless steel. And I have some stainless steel sheet. This is 14 gauge. I just cut it out so it would match the shape of the math. Drill the four holes took a hole saw in the middle so now all i gotta do is weld this to that and then we have our math adapter so i'm doing pie cuts because we're gonna have the 90 out and it's really tight you can fit a regular band 90 in but i want to do pie cuts and then i want to see if i can have it when it comes straight if i could 90 over and make the filter face forward and bring it closer to the front we'll have to see how much room we actually have to work with but ideally i'd like to bring the filter as close to the front as possible we'll have to take this out to see how much room we have So here's my little math adapter. It's not perfect. I'm still learning how to weld. The welds don't look too great. And I messed up a little bit in some areas, but it should be fine. Let's mock it up to here and throw the filter on. Just see how it looks. So we got the whole air filter and math assembly ready to go. So that'll help us see how much room we actually have because this does take up quite a lot of room. So we'll see if we're even going to be able to kick it forward once we do the first 90. So let's take the air box out and just so we can see how much room we actually have to work with. touch up paint because when I painted the engine bay initially I didn't really get this area. If you didn't see that video go check it out. I think the paint job came out really nicely. There are some areas that aren't too awesome. That strut tower came out the best and then there's some other areas where it's a little lighter and I only had two cans when I did it. But anyways when I let that dry I'm still able to at least get the measurement to see how far we can go before we need to 90. We're going to be using pie cuts. I cut all these out earlier. Hopefully it's enough. Unfortunately I have to change my initial plan. What I wanted to do was have it come out 90 up to about here and then 90 and then have the filter over here facing forward but because i still have the math sensor i cannot do that if i really wanted to i could leave the math in the middle back here and then extend and go over to here but i don't want to do that that's going to look kind of weird but i'm just going to do the traditional intake style that most intake kits for this car look like where they just go straight 90 and then filter once we get the car on a standalone and we can delete the math then we're going to be doing the initial way that i wanted to do it but for now we're stuck with what we got so I want to take a measurement because I want my 90 to end between this power steering reservoir and the power steering pump, the gap between them there. So I want it to come out roughly here. So I'm going to take a measurement to see how far off of the turbo we have to have the straight piece before we get the 90 in. So what I'm going to do is take five of these pie cuts and tack weld them together because with the angles that I cut them at, five of them equals 90 degrees. So I'm just going to take five of them, tack weld them together so we have the 90 so we can take our measurements off of that. So here's our 90, we got five pie cuts all together. So now we're able to take this and put it where we want it and then measure from the end of this 90 to the turbo. And that'll give us the measurement we need to add the straight piece onto this. So I took the measurements and I got this piece cut. I'm cutting the final piece that's gonna go on this other side of the 90 that goes up to the math. I actually had to cut the math adapter down because it was way too long. So this piece just cooled off. So what I wanna do is put it back in the coupler that goes to the turbo. So once that other piece gets cut, we're gonna put it in here. We're gonna throw everything on, just make sure everything lines up. Then we'll take it out, tack it onto this piece, do one last mock-up, and if everything's good, then we'll fully weld all the way around and throw it on. So this is the final product. We have it welded all the way around. It looks pretty cool. It definitely isn't perfect because I'm not that great at welding. Still learning, but this came out really good in my opinion. There's no dimes here, but this shouldn't crack. We back purged it successfully with the solar flux, so we should be good to go. So now let's just throw it on the car.
we got our intake on, got our intercooler piping back on. So let's just start it up and make sure everything's running right, and then we'll go for a drive. So the intake's on and it sounds really, really good. You hear the air getting sucked in, so you get like a and then the blow off house. It's, it's, it's really nice. It took me a while to finally finish that, but I'm very glad that I did. If I'm at like zero PSI or even still in vacuum and I let off, I'll get like a which to me sounds like when a bus passes by and it gets flutter out of nowhere. It's just that's what it sounds like to me and I kind of like it. We'll see if it grows on me or not, but I'm very happy with the setup currently. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.